Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an interesting one, but before I get into it, I wanted to show you my bag of the day and give you a little update about yesterday's topic. I just had to show this beauty while I had her out. This is my Saint Laurent Small Lulu Puffer in the color Crema Soft and she is just so squishy and delightful. And I know it's absolutely silly. I'm wearing loungewear like normal, but I have matched her with my drawstring on my pants. So, oh yes, I am styling with a Saint Laurent handbag and sweatpants. But you know, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do if she wants to wear her most prized possessions. And I also have some beautiful jewelry on today. I have a mix of silver and rose gold. This piece I got from Macy's a long time ago, and it's a pink amethyst. Looks kind of like David Yerman because it has that rope detail and rose gold around the edge. But of course, it was like 200 bucks from Macy's. So don't sleep on Macy's either. They've got some good jewelry that's their brand, and I really like it. And then I have this other ring on, which has just a little bit of rose gold in the middle. I think the brand on this one is Sophia Fiori, and I got it on a cruise. And I just use it sort of interchangeably as a wedding ring. I like to switch up my wedding rings. And so just wanted to show you a little bit about what I'm sporting with my sweatpants. So as far as yesterday's video, I talked about the MCM Stark Baby Boo backpack and said that I didn't really think it was for me and I returned it. I returned it really fast, like lightning fast, like too fast. I wasn't done with it yet. And so I called UPS this morning just to see if I could intercept it at the hub and go get it again like a crazy lady. And I couldn't because it had already made it all the way up to the Kansas City area. And so, you know, I ordered it again. What can I say? I looked and there was only one left because somebody out there, two of you bought the bag, I think. So I hope you love it. And I think I'm going to keep it. I think, you know, the problem was, is I was looking at it like downwards instead of at myself. And when I watched my video, I'm like, that is really cute. And I think I could pair it with either rose gold or yellow gold jewelry because of the caramel tones on the bag. And it's, I think it's really cute. And the price, it's $4.95 instead of $9.90. So it's right at half price. And so I think, I think I'm going to keep it and just experiment with the whole backpack idea. Maybe I'll decide I'm into mini backpacks and go on a collecting frenzy with those too. Hopefully not. But today's video is going to be on the five contemporary handbags I would pick if I could only have five for the rest of my life. And so I have to pick these five items from my current collection and that shouldn't be too hard because I have around hundred bags. And so I have pretty much all of my favorites around me, but I have to narrow it down to five and to narrow it down to five, I've got to think about some different things because these five have to last me the rest of my life. So the things I want to think about are durability, functionality, the color palette, the hardware color. So a lot of it's going into this puzzle to come up with the five bags that are forever bags. And I may go ahead and do this topic with my luxury handbags too, but I wanted today to focus on Coach, Longchamp, Tory Burch, and Marc Jacobs. Yep, that's all of them. I'm gonna focus on those four brands. So one of the brands, I have two bags because there's five total, but I think it's a pretty diverse grouping that will allow you to see how you could curate your collection down that small and make it work for most occasions. The one thing I haven't put in here is a large tote bag because I just rarely use those. And, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm talking about handbags today, not about luggage. And when I use a big old tote bag, it's usually in a luggage situation or go to the pool and I could use a junk little plastic bag for that for all I care. So these are the five bags that I would use to carry my personal items on me on a daily basis. So the first one to make the cut is this beautiful ruched Kira that I got in lambskin from the Tory Birch store down in Dallas at the North Park Mall. 
I went on a shopping trip with my friend Julie from the channel Agent Bag Reviews for my birthday. And this was my birthday present from my husband. He told me to pick out a bag. And I didn't go crazy and buy Louis Vuitton. I bought a Tory Burch bag, but I have used this. And unlike other small Kira's, this bag keeps its structure really well because of all the quilting. I love that it looks dressy because of the quilting, but yet casual because of the kind of, not antiqued, but brushed silver hardware. So I think you can pull this bag off in a dressy or casual situation. Because there's only one leather break instead of two, it's a little longer. When you have two, they have to be a little shorter. And so then what I find happens is when it's on my shoulder, it tends to be about right here or right here when I wear it crossbody. But this longer break allows it to go fully over my shoulder. Uh, well, at least more over my shoulder than some of the other handbags I have that have two leather bits. The other advantage of having it like this, as opposed to having the grommets like this, is that this allows for two crossbody lengths. Depending if you pull up the middle or the outer part, you'll have a higher or lower bag on your body which is kind of handy too, depending on what outfit you wear. You might want to wear it lower, you might want to wear it higher. So I like the design features of this bag. I like that it's a flat bag. The magnet makes it super easy to get in and out of. It's just one big compartment with a zipper pocket on one side and a couple pockets on the other. So it's got really nice organization too. So this is my first choice, the Ruched Kira. The day to night bag in black that I could wear pretty much for any occasion besides like going to the beach. I mean, this is a really versatile bag. The next bag, you're going to get sick of me talking about this. And by the way, I don't have any puffy bags on this list because if these five bags have to last me the rest of my life, I need leather that is a little bit more durable than the lambskin that they use for the puffy handbags. So even though I love them, they're not on the five. The Coach Cassie in Pebbled Leather is the second bag and these are in no particular order. This bag has all sorts of organization and it comes with three straps, a skinny long strap for crossbody, a chain strap for shoulder and a top handle, which I don't have hooked on right now. I generally just use two of the three straps when I carry this bag because otherwise this little D ring here and the one on this side get a little bit crowded. So I tend to just use two of the three these Cassie bags are great. You can use other straps with them. You don't have to stick with the ones that they come with. Although I find that I use the Cassie with other straps from other bags in my collection, but that's not allowed. The only thing that's allowed in this challenge of finding five bags is if you can buy the straps separately. So this Cassie made the list with the skinny strap because this is probably how I would wear it. I think I would want the matching leather with this bag. And I have several other chalk straps, but like I said, they came with other bags, so I can't use those. So this bag, she stands alone with the three straps she comes with and she works just fine to make the list of the five bags that I would need from my collection to last the rest of my life. That's such a long time, hopefully. You may have noticed that color is extremely neutral in this little game we're playing of narrowing my collection of contemporary bags down to five to last for the rest of my life. So the next one's gray. Gray goes with everything. And so I picked the Dove Gray Soft Tabby. I would say as far as ease of use, the denim one is more functional, but I don't think it's going to be in style forever and ever to carry a denim bag with C's on it. But I think this style of bag would totally be in style forever and ever and ever. And it got two different shades of gray. I think that both shades are beautiful and go with virtually everything. I mean, look how good it looks with my outfit today. I love this bag with the shoulder strap. I love it with extenders. I love the crossbody strap. I like using them together. I like using them separately. It's just super functional. The one thing I will say that you wanna make sure to do is to get an insert. And this one is custom made for this bag from Green Tag Inserts. It just keeps your bag looking smoother and nicer and gives it that little bit of extra structure that Coach doesn't put in it. I wish they did, but some people may like it really slouchy, so maybe that's why they didn't. It has a zippered back pocket, 
So far, two of the three bags have back pockets for all of you back pocket lovers. It's just awesome. I mean, what can I say? The Soft Tabby is an awesome bag. And if you want to glam her up, and this is what we're doing, we're gonna get the most out of our money for these bags. I have this gorgeous chain that I got from Dress Up Your Purse. And the reason I'm picking this rather than the C chain, which has been not available recently on the Coach website, is because the newer C chain, whenever the bag is being used, tends to go up high enough that it might bang on the C. And I don't like that. So if I wanna glam up this bag and I'm not using the old C chain, which isn't available anymore, I would buy something like this from Dress Up Your Purse. And I think that just looks stunning. You can take it off altogether and wear it on the shoulder. And then all of a sudden this bag is that much more versatile for one of the five that is my entire collection. So now we're really getting strap happy. I hope you guys are excited because I've got this Longchamp extra small bag and this is the first pop of color that we have in our collection of five handbags. And it is in the color Slate, which is a blue shade. And it is in the Mock Croc. And I'll tell you that the Mock Croc by Longchamp feels really good. It's a structured handbag but it still has a little bit of smooshy factor to it, if you can see that. I mean, it's not so stiff and structured that it doesn't mold just a little bit to you. It comes with this non-adjustable strap, which actually hits me in a good place. It's a little stiff. So what do you think you can do? You can do some strap action. So this fabulous strap came from seethroughpurses.com. I've got a code with them that'll get you 30% off but look how fun that is to go with that bag. I absolutely love it. And the hardware is literally like chef's kiss match. It's virtually identical. So I absolutely love wearing the Longchamp extra small bags with these thicker web straps and it just gives the bag a whole new look. Another alternative is a shoulder carry strap. And I've got this chunky chain that I use when I wanna carry this bag on the shoulder. And I feel like I need to show this one to you because you might not believe how good this bag can look on the shoulder. You know it looks good crossbody, but the shoulder idea was something I sort of came up with and fell in love. Look how awesome that is. I mean, you could let it dangle as well while you were using the longer strap, but I don't think I would do that just because there's so much going on right here. It would get in the way. So you can use it as a shoulder carry bag if you take off the crossbody strap and use this chunky chain. And I'll link these chains and I will link see-through purses down below so that if you wanna dress up one of your Longchamp extra small bags, you can. The chains that I'm using, there are other colors. There's silver, there's pale gold, there's antique gold. So you can match most any bag. The last strap option for this bag really dresses it up. It's a crossbody chain and this is by the company XIAZW. Again, a fantastic match to the hardware on the Longchamp. Gives the bag a whole new life, a whole new look. This bag is the most durable out of all of the ones I'm showing you. So this is the one I would grab on a rainy day when I just was wanting to make sure nothing happened to one of my five precious bags. Last but not least is a tote bag and it is the Argan Oil tote bag by Mark Jacobs. And so we have a almost white, a black, a gray, a blue jean blue, and a brown bag. So we've got pretty much all of the neutral colors covered if you consider blue a neutral, which I do, but it sort of gives you that flavor of color, I suppose, in your five bag collection. This bag is decorated by a next fashion chain. I love the little teardrop clasp and how it sort of just nestles in there and then the chain gracefully flows across the front of the bag. Not everybody wants chains on their bags but I like chains on my bags. This is the mini size and it has so much room and is once again adorned with a green tag insert. I love pockets in my bags. I mean you don't really need to protect the inside of this bag but I like pockets so having a custom insert is awesome. This makes the list. And so this is a great one to add to my list of five. I can fit snacks in here. I can fit drinks in here. 
I can fit a little bit of snacks and drinks and a few of those others, but nothing like what I can carry in this bag. I can bring multiple Diet Dr. Pepper bottles in this tote bag, and it is fabulous. And I have multiple see-through purses straps that look so good with this bag. Look at that one. I think this one is called the Joe Lee strap, and it may be the color rust, if I remember right, but the brown's in it. Oh, wow. I mean, look at that. Next is kind of a leopard colored strap. I think I may have gotten this one from Amazon. And if I did, I'll link it down below, but check that out. The advantage of getting the see-through purses straps versus the ones from Amazon is I do think that the finish on them is a little better. And oftentimes they're stitched a little better as well. So you can see a little bit of difference there in how it's finished. So either one is great. But if you want one that may last just a little longer, I would go see-through purses. But variety is always nice too. And sometimes you can't find the pattern you want on see-through purses. She has a lot though. Last but not least is another see-through purses strap. And it's this leopard one. And it has almost a coppery spot. It's coming across a little lighter than it actually is because of the reflection of the light that I have on me, but it looks really good with this bag, even with the light on it. It's just a lighter shade of this beautiful brown. So those are the five bags I would pick if I had to only have five for the rest of my life and I could only pick contemporary bags. So my question is, what are the five you would pick? And just remember, you've got to pick ones that kind of go with each other. They, they, they fill different needs that you may have. Don't just pick your favorite ones because if you have five pink bags, it's not going to suit every occasion. You need to pick different colors. You need to pick different shapes. You need to have different purposes in mind. You need to have different outfits in mind. So it's not just pick your five favorite bags. It's pick the five bags that you would choose if that was all you could have forever. Never buy another bag. You can buy accessories. I will allow that because I love my accessories. So that's the end of my five. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.